Good morning. It is Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday, I stayed home the whole day. And what did I do? I did a lot of stuff. Like I cleaned out all of my jewelry and arranged all of that. And oh my god, in the morning, I spent all morning putting up every all the like lip products on the blog sale as well as other items for the blog sale. And I also cleaned a ton of brushes yesterday also for the blog sale. I'll show you guys before I leave the house because it's in the kitchen. Um, I also, what did I do? Oh, I made like ramen noodles, but I use like mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. I threw in a couple eggs in there. I went like all fancy with my cheesy ramen. Uh, what else do I want to share with you guys? I'm in a really good mood today because I really like my makeup. So that always, that's always a good thing. This week, it's been super humid during the day. And then by like late afternoon, evening, it pours like thunderstorm lightning it has been ridiculous trying to make plans at night like trying to figure out what to wear sometimes i'll be like okay let me wear some like riding boots but then it gets so hot anyway let me go through my makeup with you because i really like it tom ford traceless perfecting foundation this is shade five just press that in today under eye correction the sephora bright future corrector in shade medium then we have the YSL Touche Claw. I have the shade 2. Sorry. Um, and like I had told you guys in like the past maybe few couple vlogs, I'm just going through my concealers right now. So this is a save. I like this one. This one's a little light for me right now. If you can tell, it's like a little too bright. Also, my eyeshadow is not showing up. There we go. So yes, this is a keep. I've started putting some of the concealers on the blog sale. And so that's good. So this is a keep. And then on the face, I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. It is so disgusting. Like, does yours start doing this after a while? Like, they need to fix this. This is gross. Oh, I started with the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer, and I kind of like it. Andrew had talked about this a lot, but at that time, it was called their Nourishing Primer. If you're someone that's into moisturizing primers, which I am, I don't use primer to, like, make, fill in my pores or make my foundation last longer. I use it as a moisturizer or another layer of moisture that works well with makeup. So... Anything that says nourishing, anything that says anti-aging. Uh, sometimes the term hydrating I find to be a little misleading. I have found a lot of moisturizers that claim to be hydrating aren't really that hydrating on me. I set the makeup with the La Prairie, which I don't have to show you, but you guys have seen it so many times. And then the Ulta Banana for or under here. I have the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in I-15. This is all over it is so pretty every time i use this i forget how beautiful it is or i'm like reminded about how beautiful it is some i remember when this first came out or in general when i see people review these bronzers some people say there's like no pigment i'm like what are you talking about i'm like this is the lightest one i think right this is one of the lightest ones and i think it shows up really pretty i have the new dior dior skin nude air luminizer in 001 as my highlight today i only have it um right here on the cheeks and down the nose i don't have it anywhere else but i love this stuff should i give you guys a swatch i feel like i didn't give you guys a swatch in the last video pretty yeah really really pretty like if you're light to medium warm skin tone oh see how beautiful it goes it goes guys for the eye makeup, I started off with the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop in three shakes. This is my favorite. If I had to like give up all of my, and it's cooling, if I had to give up all of my colored bases, like my crayons, I would keep this one out of all of the ones. I even like this formula more than I like the By Terry or the Trish McAvoy, which are also like super favorites for me. For the eyeshadow. I made a purchase with Divina Cosmetics and Luxie Beauty. The eyeshadows I have on right now are from Luxie Beauty. This is Truffle. This is in the crease. And this is called Burnt. And this is on the lid. These are Divina up here. And these are Luxie Beauty. These are stunning. These are amazing. Um, again, Angela Mary Tanner on Instagram. She swatches these and reviews these all the time and I kind of got sucked in. After a really, really long time I got sucked in, but I was just kind of getting really bored. <sighs> all the holiday collections are dropping and I'm like, not interested, not interested, and I don't care, don't care. I don't, like, I'm not interested in anything. I'm like, I want different. 
and these are awesome. So these are the two shades I have on my lid today and all over the eyes. I dropped it, but it's okay because the, the, the magnets in the Z palettes are like so crazy. Oh my God, okay, so let me swatch these for you. So pretty, right? Like what? What? So regarding those eyeshadows, I want to do either, or I'm actually going to do both because I had talked about this, I think, in another vlog, or in the comments in another vlog. I'm going to do a brand you should try because there's a lot of brands that I have discovered through Instagram that I think are awesome. So maybe we'll do something featured around, like centered around that and then a fall eyeshadows video because obviously a lot of the eyeshadows I've been picking up are very burgundy, burnt colors or more berry tones. So it'll be nice for that. Also. I picked up this kit. It's the Bohemian La uh, Last Auto Gel Eyeliner, and it's by the brand Bibia. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is BBIA. Anybody who knows, let me know. But it's this set of five eyeliners. It was probably around 30 bucks, which is awesome. And I use this shade. All of these colors are so good because I was looking for something that was like I love matte Costa Riche, but I kind of wanted like variations of that tone. This is Bohemian Bronze. So pretty, yeah. And I have that just like in the waterline. And then obviously I tight line with like a black pencil. So when I blink, you kind of get like both both of the colors. So I can't wait. I really, I'm trying to, I have a few, I just put in a Mimi box order today. Actually, I'll link, there's a code for 20% off the site. So you guys should be buying now. So I got some Cho Sung on 22 stuff, which is already cheaper on Mimi box. But on top of that, there's another 20%. So I will give you guys that code down below so you guys can also shop and whenever you shop you get points so the next time you shop you have like money you can get more money off plus a discount which is totally awesome this the weather not the oh weather. so I tight lined with the Maybelline skinny and I use NARS Psycorax this is a black shade that I show you guys in pretty much every video but I just keep it on my vanity so I use it a little bit down here and you can totally see it and I used it with kind of like an eyebrow slash eyeliner brush along the lash line before I applied liquid liner. And I use I started the whole look as a base with the Tom Ford eye defining pen to get the shape and of course to do the wing. And then I went over it with the balm schwing because you know it's matte so it doesn't get all shiny. Love it. Eyebrows, okay, usually I incorporate two to three eyebrow products when I do my eyebrows. However, I really think, oh, also, oh my god, okay. I think that the castor oil really is working because I only use this brow pencil, Ebony, from Anastasia. And I very rarely can do this. I can't remember the last time I was able to do this. And I feel like I was able to get just, you know, the right amount of look with just this pencil. So I really do think that's working. I've been using that for maybe like two to three weeks. And then the vitamins I've been taking, I think even after a couple weeks... I think it looks pretty good like it doesn't look so like I feel like it's just less hair falling out versus um, more hair growth I don't know I can't tell but that's the update on that and for the eyelashes I have these I have maybe three different styles from this brand I got them off of Amazon I'll link them below this is what they look like and I really like this whole brand everything that they do like I said I have like three of them and they look very like and they I cannot finish sentences today and it's not like I only had coffee like I had oatmeal this morning so I don't know what the deal is uh very pretty though they have a lot of different styles and they, they say it's like they're like mink lashes I don't think they are 100% hand I don't know my Chinese is very spotty I can barely read it <laughs> for lips I have MAC stripped down on as always I love this so much mm. So good, so good. And then these, this is a new purchase. It's the color WeHo. I'm guessing it stands for West Hollywood, I think. It's from ColourPop. And I have that on, on top of the strip down. And then in the center, just a tiny bit. I kind of whipped it up because it looked a little crazy on camera. This is my jam, which I showed you guys in the last video. So the top is My Jam and the bottom is WeHo. These two go together so beautifully. The first time I used WeHo, I think that I had some flakiness on my lips and I was like, ugh, this is gross. But then today I like woke up and like had, you know, good lip situation and I put my lip balm on. I think I use like the Hado Labo stick. Oh my God, my feet. Oh. 
okay what was i saying uh whenever i sit here for more than like seven or eight minutes my feet fall asleep and then my ankles fall asleep and then my it just oof. so the Hado labo lip balm is what i use and then today of course the color pop stuff felt amazing and that's the lip we have today maybe i'll add a little bit more of this because this when i do my makeup i do it in front of like my vanity right and there's like lights and it looks a little too much but like right now oh do you guys see it? so pretty okay oh that's the makeup today oh i love it really love it and my eyes look so green today. And my hair looks so red. I love when my eyes look really green. Did you, oh, did you guys ever hear this thing where people are lightening their eyes by adding honey? Like they're dripping honey into their eyes or they're dripping something into their eyes. It was so confusing. I feel like it was when I was in Dubai or when I was like in the Middle East or India because people there really love light colored eyes. It's like the more fair your skin is, the lighter your eyes are, like the more pretty or beautiful you're considered, which I thought was so ridiculous and just like, like they would tell me, any random person would tell me like, I'm so beautiful because I'm fair. It was never just you're beautiful. It was you're beautiful. Oh my God, you're so fair or you're so fair. You're so, it was never like literally the lighter your skin is, the lighter your eyes are. It's like the prettier you're considered. It didn't matter. Like it didn't matter if like, the rest of you like you know what I'm saying I, I'm sorry I'm just like I felt really strongly about that I was like upset because I'm like I like a good tan like I do like I I definitely there are certain things about like Asian standards of beauty that I do kind of ascribe to because it's like cultural to me like I know like freckles are like really in right now I have never ever liked freckles they're fine on other people I'm not gonna be drawing fake freckles on I know that's a huge thing on Instagram. I'm like, that's okay if you like that. Because as an Asian, we don't necessarily get wrinkles so much. But when we age, liver spots start appearing. And those basically look like freckles. So to me, that's a sign of aging. And I'm like, no, that is sun damage. That is like a liver situation. So to me, on me, I don't want freckles. I've also just really loved the look of unblemished skin. Like, who doesn't love just super beautiful, clear skin? So anyway, that's my whole spiel on that. I hope I don't get any, like, oh my god, you're such a bitch for that. But it's just, that's what it is. But um, the Asian standard of beauty in terms of being super light, and that suggests that you're, like, more beautiful than someone that's, like, three shades darker is ridiculous to me. Like, but that's also probably because, because I grew up in the U.S. and we like a good tan here. So... But for me, I just think people look healthier when they have a tan, you know? It brings like a little bit of like pink or a little bit of peach into your skin and I think that always looks nice. Like a little warmth always looks really good. I'm rambling. This thing has been going on for like 16 minutes. All right, anyway, we are going to get ready for the day. So here are the brushes that I washed yesterday that I'm preparing for the blog sale. So that's exciting. I'm just trying to figure out how to put these on. I might put them on by brand. Okay, so, <clears throat> there's something in my eye. Okay, so I changed my earrings because like, I thought I wanted to wear those crawlers and then I realized, no, maybe not so much. I wanted to wear these things. Tomorrow, I'm going to Columbus because my brother, he went back down yesterday, but me and my mom are going to bring his stuff down tomorrow, so it'll be fun because we're going to kind of like help him kind of arrange his place and like we're going to go get food, but then I'll be back the next day or I'll be back the same day. How to start this thing without sounding like a hoe. Um, you, there's this post on Instagram that I saw floating around like on random accounts and it was something about like how a single woman is never really single like i mean i guess you can be but you have like different people for different things so sometimes uh okay for lack of a better word we'll call it friends with benefits but not everyone is made for this some people suck at it and those people I just want to throw punch them but then some people it works out really well and I feel like when 
everyone, and this is in any situation, when everyone is on the same page, everything is easier. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you also have to kind of like, like the person. You can't like not like the, I don't know. Can you guys sleep with someone you don't like? I cannot. I really need to do this dating video soon because there's so many elements that are like part of a person's like life, like single life or whatever. I'm not making any sense. That's why when I was doing my makeup this morning, like showing you guys my makeup, that's why it was so weird, I think. Because um, I was getting my period, that's why like my brain wasn't like functioning properly. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood today. Is it really because my makeup's so nice? I don't know. And it's not like I'm hiding something from you guys. Like it's not like I met some amazing guy, no. It's not like I won the lottery, no. It's like, I just, I don't know, I'm in a good mood today, which is good. I should just, every day that you're in a good mood, just be thankful for that, I guess. Like truly, you know how, all right, I see this also. Instagram is like my frame of reference. Not my frame of reference, but like I, I find that Instagram understands me. Like I, you, you know, you've come across accounts sometimes and you're like, I get, they get me. This account is me. So I had seen this. Oh my God, I don't remember what I was saying now. I had seen this, oh my God, what was I talking about? Oh, I always see different posts and the message is basically, you make a choice to be happy. And I'm like, what? No, how? Who is deciding to be happy and then be happy? Now, I'm not someone that reads a lot of like, self-help or self-discovery books and like I, my best friend is she's like you know it's a choice and I'm like I don't and I don't I don't even know if she thinks that but like she, she's more into that kind of thing like the power of like putting positive thoughts out there and it's then positive okay grocery haul we excited I'm excited to show you guys okay so I have been to Walmart and like forever in terms of like for groceries I'm sorry this place is a mess you have like brushes being washed here and all the Grocery. Okay, so I haven't been to Walmart in forever because I tend to do my groceries at like Aldi or Trader Joe's or Mark's, which is like a local place, like a local grocery slash Big Lots type situation, but they don't always have like the new stuff. So I was at Walmart today. Okay, first of all, there were so many people. I'm like, what is going on? Like I usually when I go in there, I don't have a cart because I'm not like buying a lot of stuff, but today I was like, I'm doing groceries. I got things I want to get. I asked the lady for help and she's just like, I don't know why there's so many people here. I'm like, I have no idea either. And then when I was checking out, the girl was like, I don't know why there are so many people here. <laughs> it was like everyone that was working there was like, because it's like, the weather sucks. It's really dreary. It's really humid. They're probably like, no one's going to be in the store today and it's like flooded with people. But I guess it's everyone preparing for their week, maybe. Um, so I got these. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. Uts. Kettle Classic Chips, and they're not too salty, which is good, but I got them because they're these dark russet potatoes, and <laughs> probably already finished half the bag on the way of that. I really tried not to get anything that I could munch on in the car, but they look like this. They all look like the burnt chips that you get. Really good. So, great value is the Walmart brand. S'mores, ice cream sandwiches. Mm-hmm, and they had key lime. And these, sea salt caramel ice cream sandwiches. Like what? They had so they had like a cotton candy one, but I'm gonna put these in the freezer right now. Mega stuff Oreos. See, I'm not I'm not at oh there's a fly. There's a fly. I'm sorry if you guys can hear it. He's really annoying. He she just say he. Um there's what double stuff? This is mega stuff. So I look to see in a regular box of Oreos, there's about 20 cookies or 24 cookies. And in this one, there's 20 cookies. So I don't know really how much most stuffing is there. But I got this because I got this, which is the Nacello Toasted Coconut and Cashew Milk. I haven't seen this before. It looked very exciting. I'm going to have this with my Oreo cookies. Okay, so then I got this Salsa Con Queso, the Taco Bell one, the medium. Have you guys ever gotten a quesadilla from Taco Bell? I had Taco Bell on Friday for lunch. Whatever nacho cheese they use is really good. It's like really kind of spicy too. And I'm like, where can I get that? That's really good. So I hope it tastes like that. That would be good. Remember those tortilla chips I got from Costco 
last week yeah i still need to figure out what to do with those gum to go into like my car container and my house container you know extra gum cheapy cheapy okay elmer's glue because i saw the thing on instagram and i've always thought to use this because ever since i got my nose ring i can't really use a biore strip without cutting it and then i don't get my whole nose so you know i already bought some activated charcoal capsules from amazon those will be in next week so have this just mix the two together and you like apply it to your face or wherever you have like pores and you can pull out the whiteheads and the blackheads so i'm really excited for that and i got a little soap dish thing because i want to put the tone bar soap tone bar soap is what i use to clean my brushes um so the bathroom across from my vanity is the closest sink to me so i want to keep like the dish with the i actually wanted the travel container the one with the lid but they didn't have it and i guess that's okay since i'm home but i wanted to put like a bar of the tone bar soap in that bathroom so i can like clean my beauty blender you know more frequently okay so i was trying to vlog by holding the camera that wasn't working because i was getting tired so not tired but like it's hot and i feel sticky not that this not that i don't look sticky now anyway dreams since we have been talking about dreams maybe the past couple vlogs me talking about dreams anyway so i had this dream and i want to share it with you guys because i was like hmm so i was in my old house like the house that i grew up in as a child and i was looking in the mirror and my iris or pupil what is the this this part of your eye it started getting black like it started getting really dark and then it started getting larger and then both eyes were getting larger 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 until it was all black like one of those really creepy like things on TV or in the movies and then it started like merging through my skin so I had just two big black holes in my eyes so I run to my parents room and my dad is in the bathroom but like I, I know he's in the bathroom but I don't really see him and I'm like calling for him and he like shuts the door part way and then it's like it that keeps replaying so like the doors like kind of open and then like I'm calling for him and he shuts the door part way and I'm like what is going on it's so weird so then I wake up and there's this guy next to me and I'm like cuddling and cuddling and like I keep looking up to see his face and I like my eyes are a little sore and I'm also like totally freaked out right because I just woke up from this dream and then I keep trying to like I literally like doing things like this like trying to like make my eyes less blurry so I can see this person's face and I keep looking up to see his face and I can't see his face and then, so I'm just, so I don't know why did I just give up and I just started just snuggling. And then he goes, come on, Jack. And this little white dog jumps on the bed. So cute. And I just kept looking up and looking up to see him. And then I woke up. Do you see what happened? Like I was waking up from a dream, waking up from a dream. Like it was so weird. It was like, I knew I was dreaming in my dream in another dream. Like, I had, whoa, right? So, I wanted to share this with you because I have dreamt about this person before. There's a recurring guy. I don't know who it is because every time I have this dream, I never see his face. It's like, I've had this dream for like over a decade, probably. No, maybe, yeah, maybe about a decade. And it's like, I... Oh, I have I'm always in a different place like one time it was like in a subway station and I was just like with this guy and I was so happy and another time I was like walking up the stairs into a house and at the very top excuse me I don't know if it was like a loft or like a attic or something and I hit the top of the stairs and he's there but I never see his face I just know that when I'm around this person super happy like so now I have to find this person where is this person? So I feel like when I meet this person, when I meet the one, it's going to be, I'm going to have that feeling, right? I'm hoping. Isn't that a weird, interesting, that I've never had a dream like that before, where it was like a dream inside of a dream. Yeah, that was like Inception-like. And on top of it, my person, whoever my person was, it's just very interesting. I like standing and vlogging. It's so much easier than holding the camera or like sitting in the car. Maybe this will be like a new spot or I'll just have to find spots around the house um, that are like, I feel so sweaty, oh my God. But you know, humidity is really good for your skin because it just like, it opens everything up and then and then you're, you can release everything. And yesterday, whenever I'm home, like if I know I'm gonna be home the whole day, I will like, 
I won't wear any makeup, right? And I'll just keep using like yesterday. I used one of those Dennis Gross, Dr. Dennis Gross peels. That was awesome. I feel like my skin looks so like woo today. So it's like a two step thing. You put one pad on, you wait a couple minutes, and then you put the other pad on, you just leave it. So I started it in the morning, and by an evening, I'm like, ooh, this looks really good. Except for this thing. You guys see this? I have like a bump here. It like won't go away. Seriously, I love my eye makeup today. I was at, when I was at Walmart, this lady, she had like, she was like four kids deep. And there were so many people, right? I already told you, there were so many people at Walmart. And she's like, your makeup looks so pretty. It was like halfway down the thing. And I'm like, thank you. And she still had, she had like two of her children, but she was trying to corral the other two from like the aisles. And they had like found another friend. It was, Walmart was crazy today. Like I really do not know why there were so many people there. Oh. Okay, so these are like frozen now. This is the s'mores one. Um, I, I'm having half of this one and I'm gonna have like the whole thing of the sea salt caramel ice cream sandwich. Mm. It's not that it's like particularly amazing, i.e. like it tastes like s'mores. It does, but the graham sandwich part is so good. And the chocolate chips have really good texture. I like that it's like simple. I wish they had a variety pack. As I told you guys before, there's a key lime, which I love. I love key lime everything. But then they have, they had another flavor. I can't remember what it was. I hope that one was actually kind of filling. Maybe I should have just eat half of this one also. Okay. Let's hope that this one isn't like significantly less sweeter and then I won't even be able to taste it. You know how sometimes if you have something that's like sweeter and you have something else that's less sweet and then the other thing that this is gonna taste like nothing, you know? Okay, so this is the sea salt caramel. I actually wish they had a do like a variety pack for this too. Yeah, it's less sweet. I should have had this first. It's good, but if you didn't tell me this was sea salt caramel, I wouldn't guess that as the flavor. Mmm. If you told me to guess this flavor, I would say be like cream soda, like a really, really light root beer float. Okay, I'm over this one. Maybe I'll like it like later when I have had like other stuff. Now I wanna go through and eat all my food. I wanna go have like, mm, This is not a very attractive food to eat. Okay, so I've been on a mission, so I get to vlog with you guys a little bit. So yesterday, I went to Columbus, and, oh, is this okay? And that was really fun. It was tiring because we were like moving and unpacking and assembling, and but my brother's place looks so cute now, and like, all like homey. What else do I don't want to share with you guys? Oh, let's talk about dating. So when I was down there, I always, okay, first of all, whenever you go into a new city, your app blows up because you're like new, right? And, but I never swipe right on anyone because I literally go on just to see like, it's very egotistical, but it's just to see like 
who likes me just to see like what kind of guys it's like educational like yeah I'm just it's curiosity and educational to see like what kind of guys would like you so I go on there and I'm like hmm okay cute good guys down there I mean obviously I lived there for a while so it's not like I'm unfamiliar with the kind of guys that are there but I wasn't dating while I was there I was in a relationship so it's totally different um adjust my seatbelt because a lot of you guys don't like the way I have my seatbelt on in the in the video I'm sorry I shouldn't be laughing you guys are right and you it's awesome that you guys are concerned um, right okay so back to what we were talking about so I'm just on there and I wasn't the second I get there I get a match and I was really confused I'm like I'm not on here so how am I getting matched in Columbus but whoever it was must have been in Cleveland at some point so that was that and then I'm not really gonna get into that one and then um <laughs> then I get home but anyone that has already liked you is still gonna show up in your deck right even though they're like 100 miles away or whatever so I'm just kind of going through and looking to see and I'm like you know again just out of curiosity I'm like I'm not going to swipe right at anyone because of what Columbus what am I gonna do with that but then a thought occurred to me I was like you know if they're not close by it's not like they can pop over the whole concept of like you know sex is off the table at least for the time being because you what are you gonna do this person is forced to talk to you right um i make it sound so bad it's not like i can honestly say it's not not every guy is trying to have sex with you the first time and not every guy is looking for a hookup i should never i shouldn't make it seem that way do you guys so because i was in columbus Yesterday, I didn't get a chance to get any of the blog sale orders out. So I'm sorry. Today's Tuesday, and I'm definitely trying to do them. I was doing them, and then I got called up to do this. And then, so they'll be out by Tuesday evening for sure. So if you guys don't get them by the end of this week or by the time this vlog is up, if you don't get them, then you let me know. Although, I haven't had any issues. I think I might have maybe I have had one broken item in like the whole time I've done this, and um. Okay, so I was supposed to hang out with my friend tonight, who I haven't seen since October, and I check in like this afternoon, like, hey, are we still hanging out? And he's like, yeah, I should still be good for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Today, sweetheart. So I have plans tomorrow, so we're not going to see each other, which is sad, but he's in Columbus, so whatever, his oops. And... um yeah, and this isn't like a date thing, like a romantical thing, because it's like family. However, the point of that story is now, it's really hot. Um, I don't have a date right now, so now I have more of a, I don't know, what do you want to call something like this? Like a hangout? Is that, can you call it that? Dangerous. Anyway, that whole story is to say that now I have a not a, not a date, but a um, I don't know, a hangout. It's very interesting how things how things evolve or change, or how people change, or how your initial impression of people. You know, it's just I. <laughs> Sometimes when you think you have it down, you're like, oh, I think I know what people are like, how people can be. Because you've seen the same pattern happen many times. But sometimes, sometimes people surprise you. You don't know. Okay, so I totally did not make my lunch last night. But I'm going to show you because this is what I did yesterday. I have smoked salmon from Costco. I'm just going to like kind of, what do you call this? I'm not shredding it, I guess you're kind of pulling it apart a little bit. Oh, that's a big piece. And then quinoa. This is the Trader Joe's quinoa. So we'll get some of this. And I like this size container whenever I'm doing something like this. Like if I do like quinoa fried rice or any kind of like, I don't know, egg salad, tuna salad. I like getting this size and I just fill it up and that's what I have. And I think that's like a good size. So then quinoa. And then these pickles that I showed you guys earlier, 
bold and spicy sweet heat stackers. I just took two slices, whoop, cut them up, and we're just gonna add that into here too. So good. And then of course, a shit ton of black pepper. I don't toss it or anything. When I get to work, I just like keep the lid on and I like shake the whole thing up so nothing gets like, I don't know, I just like doing that. But I was thinking, oh, you know, when I get to work, I'll just put uh, dressing on it. Nope, totally between the black pepper and the juice from the pickles, don't even need to add anything. And I very rarely use salt, so there's that. All right, guys, I wanna share couple pairs of sunglasses with you. I, go, I know you guys like enjoy the sunglasses showing. So I have, what did I order these from? Um, Neiman, no, Last Call. Last Call, Neiman Marcus. So first, we have, okay, so we're gonna, I haven't tried these on yet, so we're gonna do it together. These are by Elizabeth and James. I've never bought their glasses before, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if, hmm. I don't like the case it feels the cheap okay so these are called Fairfax and okay let's just remove all this stuff okay oh these are like really delicate you see how like small and dainty these are oh and it says Fairfax like right here which is nice because you know how you're like always trying to figure out what the names of sunglasses are let's see if we like these I saw these on someone I was like oh those are cute I don't think these are made for Chinese noses. <laughs> I feel like these are gonna fall off. Okay. I like them if they'll stay up. These are really cool, yeah? I don't know guys. I feel like I need a nose piece. Like I can't, they're, they're so beautiful too. See if we can get them to show up. They're really delicate and like really beautifully made. It's like a very soft cat eye with a gradient lens. Really, really beautiful. But I have to like, you know, like, you know how you like, you can like kind of tuck it above your ear into your hair to kind of keep glasses in a certain place. Like that's where I have to put them. I like these, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Let me know. I know you guys will let me know. But I really, like, you know, your input always makes a difference because sometimes, you know, I don't see things. So much time. Second pair are from D Squared 2. Okay, this has its own bag as well. Oh, this has, like, a nice case. Like, it's, like, a faux leather, I'm sure. And then there's, like, a zipper. Please, please don't slide off my nose. Oh, yeah. Also, these are really large lenses, and I feel like they make my face look really tiny, but. Oh, and there's gold here. So I had originally gone on to Last Call and I had to look for, not to look for these, but like they came up as like the cheapest at that site. And then I kind of perused the site more, strolled through, and I found these. They're, they had, blah, blah, blah. They had these in other colors. I really like these. I feel like. You can have a really wide head. The retail is $340. These are on the site for $139. And then I paid I paid $111. That's not bad. Oh my god, you can have like a huge head. Like you can have like the widest, biggest head and still wear these because I feel like these are gonna fall off. I really like these though. I'm like, I know, I'm like posing, but I'm like looking at all the angles to see if I like it in every angle. I like these. I do, but they're so like loose, you know, like they're gonna fly off. Like these are the kind of glasses where like, I probably like, I feel like my head's not wide enough and that is uncommon because I feel like I'm kind of wide here, even though my face looks like kind of long and narrow, but like this part, I think is why like when there's so many pairs of Versace glasses that I try on that I love but they don't look good on me like they like stop like right here and then it looks stupid 